this video I'm going to show you how to solve a pair of simultaneous equations when you've got the same sign but none of the coefficients are equal. So again start off by labeling the two equations one and two and what you'll realize is the x's are not the same and the y's are also not the same so we have to make an equation number three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this equation and I'm just going to multiply it up so I've got the same number of y's. So if I times this up, I'm going to have to multiply by 3. So 5 times by 3 is 15x. y times by 3 is 3y. And minus 2 times by 3 is minus 6. So now what you should be able to see is that we've got the same amount of y's in both equations and we've got the same sign as well. So whenever we have the same sign we are going to subtract. So I'm just going to redo that again so it's going to be equation 1 and equation 3 this time. So 3x plus 3y equals 18 and 15x plus 3y equals negative 6. Now, we have a slight issue here for x in the first one is smaller than the coefficient for x in the second one. I'm going to switch these two around and you'll see why in a second. So it's going to be 15x plus 3y equals minus 6 minus 3x plus 3y equals 18. Now this is going to make it easier for me so I don't have to get a negative amount of x's. So once I actually do that, 15x minus 3x is going to give me 12x. 3y minus 3y is 0. Minus 6 minus 18 is minus 24. So I'm just going to take that up to here. We've got 12x equals minus 24. If I divide both sides by 12, I get x equals minus 2. Now, once I've got x equals minus 2, I'm going to substitute this back into equation 1. So sub x equals minus 2 into 1. Okay, so it's going to be um, 3x plus 3y equals 18. So I'm going to have 3 times my minus 2 plus 3y equals 18. So minus 6 plus 3y equals 18. Add 6 to both sides. You get 3y equals 18 plus 6 which is 24. And to get y on its own divide by 3. So you get y equals 24 divided by 3, which is 8. Now I've got my two answers. So x equals 2 and y equals 8. So now that I've got my two answers, x equals minus 2 and y equals 8, I'm going to substitute these two back into equation number 2. So, so x equals minus 2 and y equals 8 into 2. So equation 2 is 5x plus y equals minus 2. So that's 5 times by minus 2 plus 8 equals minus 2. So that's minus 10 plus 8 equals minus 2. Once you do that, you get minus 2 on both sides. Therefore, your solution for x equals minus 2 and y equals 8.